What's up, Reefers? Welcome to uh, Alex Park Corals. This is Alex Wilson, your host, and this is an update of the good, the bad, and the ugly. So let's check out what I got here. And here's the, the quarantine aquarium. It's doing okay. Helio fungus looking, looking as big as ever. Everything else pretty much the same. But I do have these uh, copepods. They're absolutely everywhere. Yeah. Get a shot. So much so that they're starting to get all over the clam shells. And I think they're starting to bother their clams a little bit. Hopefully they won't cause any... Um, serious damage or, or irritation like I noticed here on this uh, the gold uh, crocea right here see it's, it's got some areas on his mantle that are pinched in and that's some areas right there where there's um, copal pots right there so you can see that moving in right there you can see the copal pot right there the antenna's flipping around so see here's another here's the other one so you can really see the yeah, copal pods everywhere and uh, so it's definitely causing the mantles not to be ex extended out as much as they normally are yeah, and here's you see a good look at the squamosa it's really really close up right there so you can see one of these copal pods right there as long as it's so so uh, Pyramid snail right there too as well. I have to get that out. It's such See the pyramid snail right there Get that guy out But you will see a copal pod right there. He's made a little nest right there Like a protective little nest thing so I'm gonna have to hit it with a toothbrush or something see if I can get it out So Another thing I wanted to mention, oh, that on the, is first getting a new aquarium, you know, uh, a big aquarium delivered. You know, one of the issues, uh, it's like the, the first one I had delivered there, you know, I had it curbside and they dropped it uh, right there on the, on on the streets. So then I, I had, you know, it was tough trying to, you felt pressured, you know, trying to get, scheduled or, or you know get it moved and whether or not you know it's gonna be sitting outside for at night or for who knows how many days or so anyway the second time i had the aquarium delivered though i uh, i made room for it in the garage and so yeah they were able to just go ahead and um and move the whole pallet with the with the stand and the aquarium and everything just straight into the garage you know, so that made it a lot easier when it came to moving it, you know, scheduling movers and, and, every, and everything else and moving it from there. So, that's what I'd recommend there. Let's check out the main display. Again, it's looking about the same. Got the browns. And I'm in, trying to increase the feeding, increase the feeding of the... Uh, reefroids as far as the corals and the um, I mean, man, like equal amounts of reefroids and the benefits. Gonna see see what that does. Check out the yellow tang. See if he if let 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 me get a shot of him. But what else? Elegance coral. I just gave him a piece of tuna last yesterday, so real small. Just a real small slice, you know. And so I think he put it. I think he ate it, but you know, a lot of times he'll spit it back out. So you have to keep an eye on it, and you know, from there the copal pots will get it or the shrimp. So there's no worries there. And 
Let's see, let's come out here and check out the pulsing Xenia. Still, still doing okay, I would say. It's now, you can see it's attached itself. See, it was on just a, still on a frag plug. The frag plug's still there, but it's leaned over, you know, now it's attached half of it to this rock. And it's funny, it almost seems like it's like crawling over from the rock, um, from the frag plug onto the rock almost. Like it's almost kind of just um, slowly, slowly falling and moving over like an enemy or something. It's weird. So I'll see whether or not it completely, um, completely goes off its frag plug or whether it just leave a, a section on the frag plug, see? The section on the rock. It seemed like it used to be just right there in the middle of the frag plug. Yep. Okay guys, well I guess that's it for now. Just uh just a quick update and I hope your uh your reefing is, is doing good, so happy reefing. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.